morning, good afternoon, good day. Um, this is James with Jesus on Thursday, December 21st, the shortest day of the year, light-wise. So um, I'm looking forward to gaining a little bit more daylight each day forward. Um, however, this morning, um, looking out our front room, which faces southwest, a beautiful pink hue on the far horizon. So with the sun rising the east, it's casting, um, again, just a wonderful rose-colored hue in the west. One of the uh, pointed readings from today is from the 89th Psalm, uh, the first four verses, verses all 52. And I'll see if my eyes can adjust. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth, I will... I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen, chosen one. I have sworn to my servant David. I will establish your descendants forever and build your throne for all generations. So with Christmas Eve coming up, um, the promise of a, of a king, a ruler from the Davidic line uh, is fulfilled in Jesus. So that's the, the biblical background as far as tying in Old Testament psalm to New Testament uh, fulfillment from our Christian perspective. Um, I was torn between whether to use this scripture or there was another one referenced from the sixth chapter of Hebrews. Um, I don't recall the exact verse dealing with hope because I read somebody's reflection this morning who just described how difficult this year has been. I don't know this person personally. I follow, um, they're a leader of an organization out of Texas, uh, uh, faith-based uh, from the ELCA that uh, assists with congregation and, and visioning and, and planning. But she talked about how uh, their family has just gone through a number of deaths this year and uh, actually last two years and a phrase she used that she is now part of the oldest generation in their family and i realized within our own um our, our own um family greater family we have one surviving aunt who's 92 uh, but upon her death um, i too will be part of the oldest generation now in our family tree I have a little benefit in that <laughs> most of my cousins and my siblings, uh, my siblings definitely and most of my cousins except one are all older than me, so I'll be the youngest and the oldest generation. But she then went on to talk about, uh, you know, the war in Gaza and Ukraine and other things going on and why people might have a feeling of a heavy heart uh, at this time of year. And yet the, the reading from Hebrews talked about our joy being anchored in the hope we have in Christ. And so it's that tension, that dynamic, that um, the grief can be uh, commingled with joy. And so I think of uh, the joyous laughter and conversation around the dinner table yesterday uh, before the worship service. I think of um, the students last week when they're preparing for finals and the amount of laughter I heard coming from the 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 lounge uh, even uh, at council meeting uh, this past monday night uh, laughter around the table and just how much um encouragement there can be in in still finding joy in life i uh, pastor josh R renee lena jones myself all went to the gathering at uh, clemson downs yesterday and then i had a couple visits afterwards and once again, there's laughter, and um, it's not to ignore all the serious things that are happening in the world, um, but to try to also, um, again, find some joy. Um, last, last observation I'll use, we were in clinical pastoral education during our seminary education, which I, I did a uh, uh, summer at the Richland Memorial uh, Hospital with friends and there was often time laughter among us and so much so that one of our supervisors expressed concern says we we think that you're deflecting that you're not um not you know 
thinking enough, not being introspective enough about the seriousness of things going on in the hospital. And to which we all replied, it's exactly because of the seriousness that, that we're facing with people that we seek out to, to still have joy and laughter. And so, um, I don't know whether that's right or wrong, but it's, again, never humor to, demis to dismiss somebody else's pain, but in that pain to also recognize that there can be some brightness. And uh, I lied. That was not my last thing. I want to give a shout out to Buck Doobie. He was a, a parishioner at Lord of Life. And within um, two days of his death um, at, at his bedside, uh, he, he whispered to me, he goes, Pastor. And so I leaned down to get close to him. He goes, did you hear the one about? And he tells me a joke. And I said, Buck, I want to be you. I want to be you to, to, again, to say, I know what I'm facing, but I'm gonna face with uh, good humor. So let's pray. Oh Lord, give you thanks for the many artists, comedians, siblings in Christ and people in the community that can bring a smile and to lighten the load. Uh, again, never to dismiss somebody's grief or hurt um, but alongside of that, to uh, intersperse some joy and laughter uh, to make life easier. Uh, so, Lord, we give you thanks for the gift of joy. We give you thanks for people who can uh, encourage us. We give you thanks um, for a community of faith that we can meet um, in, in physical terms, like last night for worship and dinner, but also uh, through social media and through other means of technology that can help foster relationships and connections so that no one needs to feel alone. Lord, as we are about to celebrate uh, your birth, um, we give you thanks for your presence as Emmanuel, as we heard over and over again last night as a reassurance to us in the prayers that you are with us. Be with us this day. Help us help one another and also to find the joy that you give to us so abundantly. And this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this will be our final James with Jesus before Christmas Eve. So have a blessed Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'll probably take Christmas Day off next Monday. Um, but uh, we'll return next week with more jammies. So God's peace be with you. Bye-bye.